All right, we're gonna continue on here at Draft Champions, and I'm actually doing this video right after that bullcrap long play the Jags got on me. I am kind of ticked off at Brent Grimes right now. He played terrible that game. Oh boy, got Brady, AP, and Devin McCourty. Oh boy. Oh boy. Better watch out for this game. Come on, let's go. Thank you. Is it time to finish what they started? I'm Larry Ridley, and this is Draft Champions. The Patriots have run right through these first couple games, but as the stakes get bigger, the competition gets tougher. They'll score off here against the Seattle Seahawks. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's get them. Well, like I said, irritated about my pat former game against the Jaguars. So let's go. Going to be back deep here on the opening kick. Let's go. This game has officially begun. Peterson's going to test the coverage here. He's brought down at the 20-yard line. That return's good for about 21. Leading the offense, the all-time highest win percentage of any quarterback to ever play the game, Tom Brady. I think some of the things that are not talked about enough when you talk about Tom Brady, how tough he is and how well he moves in the pocket, that, along with good decisions and a good arm, that's why he's one of the best. All right, we're going to have to watch Brady and AP. Come out at a two tight end set. First down at the 20. Come on. Nice. Kiko Alonzo. Nice. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense at time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. The Seahawks come to the line. Of course, plenty of pink on the field today and in the stands as all of October will be seeing this for Breast Cancer Awareness Month in the NFL. Come on. Ugh. Tom Brady early in his career did a lot of play action passes and they were very good at it. And this past year or so, they've gone back to it. Come on. The Seahawks from the 32. Peterson. Antoine Buffet makes the yeah. hit. One player will be watching on the outside today is Mike Evans. Well, when you see Mike Evans, if you told me he was a defensive end, I'd say, wow, that's a good-sized defensive end. He is big, fast, and, man, was he an impact player in 2014. Brady from the gun. Great. Gets it out for the completion. <laughs> Nobody cares. Just get the job done. Throw it deep down the field or throw Come it on, short man. To running back and look at those extra I hate when the defense the can't stop pass. them. First and ten. Brady. Peterson's taken down at the 49. Running backs in the NFL now, it's hard to bring them down. That time, nice job of breaking the tackle. That leads us to second down. Gives it to him again. Ah. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. 
Peterson's a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. Foster takes his spot in the backfield. The Seahawks take it from the Oh, come on. Ugh. That's what you call a bullet pass. Very little space to throw the football into, but he gets it done. A lot of velocity right on target. The Patriots' defense now is going to go nickel. The Seahawks will take the snap from the 35. Come on! When you run the slant route, it's very important to know as a receiver that you're going to catch that football probably in between some linebackers. The Seahawks still possess the football as we begin the second quarter. Set up now at the 26. And the second quarter is underway for this snap. Yeah. Need to stop that pass, though. The Seahawks offensive coordinator, he has to be frustrated by that play. I think he calls the right play. But what happens? The run loses yards. That's just a bad job at the offensive line. Loss of two on that play. Second and 12. Oh, come on. And they are in on Peterson. Oh, I loved it when I was a quarterback. Throwing screens or throwing short passes to the running backs and watch them catch it and get those big yards. Uh, it, was, it was awesome to get cheap yards like that. Brady is 5 for 5 after that completion. First and goal from the 7. And this will go for a loss as Atkins that time was in on the stop. Oh my gosh, it is the worst thing you can do on the offensive side. This drives coaches crazy. When you get down near the goal line, you run the football and you lose yards. That's just not being tough enough. Glad to have you back as we come out of the two minute warning here in the first half. Second and goal. Cover better. Oh my god. Uh, dude, I hate that. In these games, the AI quarterbacks always freaking on. We barely ever miss at all. Unless you get like heavy pressure on them, they always complete it. No, it's Brady, but come on. The Patriots prepared to return the kick. It's Keyshawn Martin on the return. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. Ugh. Defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. He'll go nickel. First down at the 23. It's oh, nice. Watkins back at the 44. It's first down as they head to the line. Peyton Manning from the shotgun. The catch is made by Daniel Fells. Brought down at the 47 yard line. Second and short. They're setting up screens. I hate that so much. Screens barely ever work anymore. You dumb moron. Here in a situation like this, fourth and short. Stupid moron. Of course you drop it. Of course. Put the football away. Uh, it's too early for that, but let's find out. Sometimes these coaches make some strange decisions. Milton nice. At the, first. the Patriots are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. I know if their offense is going to destroy me like they did, I'd better go for it. The 37 is the line of scrimmage. Now 
first and ten. Oh my god! I pressed the button, game! I at least throw it away! That's an excellent job by the defense. Oh my god, dude. Gets the quarterback and gets the sack. That clock keeps moving. What a job by the defense in this situation. Down the field. Is it Oh wow. The offense has the ball. Now he makes up for his drop, definitely. First down, my the long play. The Seahawks lined up in the nickel. Quick drop back. Oh, come on. That time knocks the ball free. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. Second and goal from the 10 yard line. There we go. Boy, things suddenly feel a lot different as that touchdown ties things, Phil, right before the intermission. Oh, yeah, it, it just changes everything. It puts one team in a funk because they let the other team tie it up. And, of course, when you're the team that's behind and you score that touchdown to tie it up before halftime, man, that makes you feel great. Jackson's got it. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Patriots defense comes back onto the field. Did not look so good that last series, giving up the touchdown. Oh, you know the coaches are upset. My gosh, they ran some of the most elementary defenses that you can run, and they had mistakes by the defensive players. So they coached them up on the sideline. Oh, no. see different results. Come on. No. Uh. My God, my defense is terrible. Nothing like getting a long running play for a touchdown. When you do, you just feel like you're stealing something. It takes good blocks, but most importantly, it takes a talented running back to get it done. And this team definitely has one. The Patriots prepared to return the kick. Martin on the return. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. Nelson's ready to start this next possession. They're staring at a deficit, and he's not had a first half to remember up to this point. Not going to blame it all on him. There's a lot of people to blame on the offensive side. And I'm going to start with the coaches. You just got to have a better plan on how to get your star wide receiver open. They haven't done that. He's really had no chance to get it done. Oh, dang it. He just stayed on his feet. Over back in the studios, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Okay, Larry, looking sharp back in that studio. Thank you for that. And now we're ready to get the third quarter underway as these teams now take the get another freaking touchdown. Now. The Patriots' offense trots out onto the field, looking to get into the end zone and see if they can turn the tide in this one, partner. Well, the fact that they are losing this game so far, the sense of urgency is there on the offensive side. You know, we have many plays in that playbook. I think they need to try a few different ones here in the second half. Hard to guard these tight ends now in the NFL. It really puts the defense in like a quandary. Do we use a big guy? Well, the big guy's not fast enough. We use a small guy. Well, he's not big enough. They get pushed around. I don't know what you're going to do. Just make sure you're a good tackler after they catch it. Manning's completion percentage, 70% on the day. On the way, third down. Manning's ready for the snap. Empty backfield from the shotgun. The Patriots now move the chains. The Patriots did a good job that time picking up the first down. Let's look at the situation. You're behind the second half. You keep looking to pick up those first downs, and you know you get enough of them. What does it do? It leads to a score. 
Ah, dang it. Second down after going to the ground game the first play. Quickly to the line. Catch made. They break him down at the 41 yard line. What can a defensive back do in a situation like this? The answer is nothing. How about the throw right on target by the quarterback and a good route on that out route by the receiver? Midway into the third. Come on. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Screw it. These quarters are way too short. The freaking not for it. The go for it here on fourth down and short. He makes the catch. Breaks the tackle. He's got a little bit of daylight here. If he would have dropped that, I would have been so mad. They come to the line of scrimmage at the 29. Manning's got no one behind him. Just a quarterback waiting for the snap. Joseph Randall with the reception. Randall's tackled down after a gain of seven. Manning set, empty backfield. The Patriots from the 22. As Nelson. Hills there to make the tackle. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Manning out of the gun. Bells with the reception. Ah. And he heads to the sidelines out of bounds. <laughs> Marching down the field and taking their time. Second and goal from the five. Yes. There we go. They tied it up with that touchdown, and it looks like these teams are on level terms as we go into the fourth quarter. Yeah, they are. Boy, this turns everything around. Isn't it amazing? It's tied, but the team that just tied it up, they've got to be feeling a lot better than the other team right now. Peterson's going to start his return. And the tackle is made right around the 26-yard line. The Seahawks have been in a fight today. The scores 14 to 14. Time is running out. The game is tied. And the defense must do whatever it can to not give up the score. The Patriots defense is so fast and so powerful. That time on the first play, they just go with power. The offensive line, they tackle the runner for a loss. Loss of three on the play. Oh, no. I thought I... And Wallace got it on a pass that had some heat. <sighs> Offside. Defense. Defense was trying to get the snap count, and it cost them there. Third down after the penalty. Come on. The game is tied, and time is a factor. Come on, stop him. Dang it. Alexander's there to take him down. Peterson's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. The Seahawks take it from the 43. Peterson up the middle. He didn't get many yards that time on that run, but he's had a terrific day. When there's an opportunity to get some yards, he's been there to take advantage of it. Two minutes remaining, and you're watching and the NFL on EA Sports. I'm probably going to score here, and I'm going to have a little time to get something. 
just two minutes left of this one. We're back now for the end of the fourth quarter. Foster in the backfield, single back set. Come on! And it's batted down. Dang it. Come on, go out. Come on. Ugh. Brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. Defense calls a timeout. They're in punishment. About time I stopped them. A punt just like he's up. And now the defense has them back into the corner. The Patriots offense coming back onto the field after a touchdown drive the last time they had it, and they certainly attacked that secondary. It got there via the pass. Well, Jim, let me ask you this. How would you like to be the defensive coordinator right now? Because you're over there, you don't know what's going to happen. No matter what you call, you feel like, hey, the quarterback's hot. He's probably going to beat what we're trying to do. The Seahawks with a nickel look here on defense. Manning from the gun. Watkins ends up being the target and the receiver. That's his fourth catch of the day. So right into the hurry-up offense they go into this two-minute situation. Yeah, these guys, all these pros, they've been doing this stuff since they were in high school running the two-minute offense, so I know they're ready for it. Picks up about five. The pass play was good for five. Second and five coming up. Peyton Manning from the shotgun. Look at that concentration as he makes the grab. All right. Going to go to the hurry up with under a minute to play. First and ten. Yes. Gonna go nickel. Manning's got it in the gun. Fells with the reception. In on the Come on, hurry up. The Patriots get set to snap the football. Only one timeout remaining here in the fourth. Second down and eight. The oh! Oh! He's oh! Yeah! Yes! Daniel Fells. So many people you can give credit to on a drive like this when you're down late in the game and you march down the field and score and take the lead. What a job. I'm going to give credit to the offensive line. They were terrific. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. Jackson's got a chance for a return. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. All right. Yo, oh boy, the long pass the now. And they are absolutely in desperate need of a big-time drive here to put points on the board. The one thing we do know, since you are behind, the defense most likely is going to be very conservative the first couple calls. So make sure you have a play call to take advantage of the fact that they're going to be very conservative on the defensive side. The Seahawks with probably their final chance coming up. Quarters formation here for the defense. Second and ten. Surveys. Tom Brady unleashes the long pass. And nice. Well, that makes up for my freaking end of the game loss to the freaking Jaguars, my franchise. Right now on the winning side. Oh, it's awesome. When games are close, you're down on the sideline. You look up there once in a while and you go, I hope we can find a way to The problem was they freaking were scoring nonstop. Remember they freaking outpacing when I'm on was on the offense. So for Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now. Good had a good offensive game in that game. Yeah, I only missed three passes that game. Well, of course, I didn't run it very much. I only had four yards. <laughs> Freaking 
Daniel Fells did awesome. Sammy Watkins did awesome. Alright. Oh, well, that's good stuff. Well, I'm curious to see what happens after the game's done here. Did I get anything or was that the final game? Congratulations, you won draft champions. I'm Adam right. Schefter, and with one game in the books, let's take a look at the rewards you've unlocked by playing draft champions. You finished the season with a 3 0 record. Redeem an ultimate team or start a new event? I guess we'll redeem it, I guess. Racking up all the achievements. Yes. Bonus Jerry Rice player item. All right. Guess I got him on my ultimate team now. All right. What do I get? 125 coins. Jeremy Kudjo. 75 coins. 125 coins. Wilm Goldson. Devonta Freeman. Yeah. He's doing good this season. All right. Well. Okay, that's the ultimate team. So I wonder if I continue on with the draft champions team I did, or I, just, I do a new draft. Draft your team, run the CPU gauntlet. What the heck? So, so what is this exactly? Do you just keep redoing stuff or what? Does it get harder? I don't know. I'm going to have to look it up, but it looks like we have to start a new draft. So, all right. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll do a little bit of research on this. And if I see it does get harder than that, then I will we'll continue on. But it seems like I'm already done with it already. So, but all right. Well, you guys let me know in the comments, but well, that's draft champions anyways. And I'll continue on if, like I said, if it gets harder. So, all right.